Hey guys, just wanted to quickly discuss the amazing steady rest that comes with this lathe. And I use the word amazing very loosely because the steady rest is not really amazing. Uh, to get started, we're going to loosen those three 14 millimeter nuts on the back side of the rest. Or maybe that's the front side. You know, I didn't really bother trying to learn the names of all the parts of the steady rest because I didn't really care. So I'm going to make up names as we go and hopefully you guys will be able to follow along. The next thing I do is lock this down nice and tight so it's not wobbling around because for this next part I had to break these brass or copper fingers away from the casting and mine were in there so tightly I thought I was doing something wrong because I couldn't get them to move and I was finally able to get them to slide back and forth. I think it's because of the paint in the casting that they that they had been stuck so badly and I actually did all that work off camera what you're seeing here is uh, still a bit of difficulty but um, yeah, I was able to get them to slide around eventually so once you get to that point uh, for the work I just press it down with my finger till it's touching and then put a little bit uh, just the slightest amount of pressure on the thumb screw while tightening down the 14 millimeter nut and the one at the top is the most important uh, which you're going to see here in a moment because I totally screw up my uh, my cut and uh, you know I don't try to hide that kind of stuff you guys know I'm I'm new so I'm not ashamed to show you my mistakes as dangerous as they may be so let's see we get all three of the fingers tightened and it's kind of trial and error sometimes I got it too tight to where it was pinching the work and sometimes too loose like in this case where uh, problems arise and then I use a little bit of WD-40 on the uh, on the work right where it engages those fingers just to make sure that it rides nice and smooth so this first cut is supposed to be a cleanup pass, and it goes okay. And the second cut, I'll slow back down to regular speed so you can see it. Right after the cut starts, watch that top finger. It's going to move. Yep, there it went. And the material started to be able to move away from the cutter, so it was rubbing and making a screeching sound, and it was awful, but like an idiot, I went ahead and made my cut until it moved where you saw right there. It totally jumped on top of the tool. So clearly uh, we've got a major problem. And like I said before, it turns out to be that top finger. Once I loosen this 14 millimeter nut, you'll see how far it pushed that finger out of place. It's got to have been like a 16th of an inch. Here it comes. Yep, there you go. So this time a little bit more pressure on the thumb screw to hold it down while I tighten the 14 millimeter nut. And that seems to uh, not pinch the work. And I guess that's set up pretty good. Let's go ahead and make another cut. This is going to be a cleanup pass, and then I'm going to take a ten thousandths uh, followed by a twenty thousandths pass. And you'll notice this is uh, quite a bit harder material. This is 4340 normalized and tempered. And so there's a little bit of smoke coming off even at ten thousandths. And I could tell right away how much harder this was to cut than mild steel. I also got quite a bit better finish, which was nice because you guys know I'm constantly complaining about finish. And here's the twenty thousandths pass. A uh, decent amount of smoke, and you're also going to notice the chips immediately start coming off. Straw, and then go to purple and blue. These are hot. This is a very hard material. But the cut looks great. The tool was doing its job. The steady rest was doing its job. Uh, no thanks to me. And, yeah, that's pretty much it. So I'm pretty pleased with those results. Now, luckily this is a piece of material that's very smooth, so there's somewhere for the steady rest fingers to ride. If this were not a smooth piece, I'm not really sure what you would do because it's way too long to face without the steady rest. I actually tried that first and I didn't even I don't even think I got through a full pass and it made me nervous, so I stopped. Um without being able to face it, you couldn't I don't think you could, you know, drill a hole in the end to use a dead rest. So I'm not really sure what the procedure is in that in that case. Uh maybe if any of you have got some experience, uh post a reply video and I'll link it up. Anyway, that pretty much covers everything I wanted to show you. Don't forget to leave your comments and questions below. Subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching as always, and more to come in the future.